Well, right, what we got here uh, is my latest acquisition. Um, I've brought myself a new uh, home base aerial, which we're going to mount up and fit round the back. Um, I've got the uh, mounting poles, the coax, the connectors, and the aerial itself inside the box. So let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, so we've got uh, aluminium poles, which I can't actually get out. Got the Serio 2016 antenna, which is quite a lump. These are the uh, raw bolts that we're going to use to put the T and K brackets up on the Sony. Yep, that's in there. I think that's just my receipt. Yep, and four uh, coax connectors because I'm going to do myself a patch lead out of this as well. I've gone for the RG213 coax, which is here. You can see, there's my finger, it's the thick stuff. It's like RG8, but it's uh, RG213 military specification co coax. I think I've got about 25 metres of that. Uh, right, let me get these poles out. Oh, I went for two um, swaged. Uh, poles. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, off. Uh, by swage, I mean this is a swaging, so you can then join another pole to this one simply by sliding it in the base, like so. It's a bit hard to do one ended. Like that, and then that gives me a bit more height. Should be nice and uh, secure. I've gone for inch and a half poles, um, and you'll see why when we show you outside where we've got to mount it. Because I've got eaves that run round the side of my house, and I've only got one gap where I reckon I can get this up. So, right, let's have a look. I've always had a Antron 99 in the past, um, so when I was going to get another aerial, I thought I'd go for another Antron because I've got out all over the place, all over the world on it. But the problem I found this time is the adverts were all saying that the bottom two sections of the Andron are made by a different company now and they come bent. Well, I'm thinking to myself, why would I pay nearly £100 for a bent aerial? I know they're telling you it's bent, but what would I want a bent aerial for? So anyway, I've given up with that idea, so I went for a Serio 2016. Um, and if you're not familiar with the 2016... It looks like that, with a top hat on there and all the radials at the bottom with three mounting clamps to put it on the mask. It's got a massive great coil on it and it comes with all the radio radials as well. Um, it's a 5 8 ground plane antenna and it's supposed to do 26.4 to 28.2 tunable. I don't know what sort of um, bandwidth it's got. Um, it's saying 2,100 kilohertz, but I don't know what swire I'll get. I want it for really for the mids, highs and lows. So if I can get it to tune in and swireable and usable on that, perfect. Anything extra, bonus. Right. Um, these are the radials. And again, on the right up I was reading, these are quite thick, so they're not likely to bend. And they've got good screw thread on them as well. There is the coil you can see from the size of my hand that is an absolute beast but all the weight seems to be in the coil so it's all going to be at the bottom interesting so yeah that should be quite nice and I'll get that down there Serio 2016 how you swallow the thing I have no idea I'm assuming it's like a normal silver pole and you just adjust it up or down. Um, oh, even got a sticker. Great. Right, let me uh, 
get this outside and uh, we'll have a look. Oh, there's the top, the top section with the static top hat on, which is there. So that's a bit different. I'm sure a bird can sit on the top of there. <laughs> I would rather that wasn't on there, but ah oh well. You can't have everything. Right, I will now get onto this. Just check all my sections. Yeah, all the sections are already uh, inside here. It feels quite good aluminium as well, to be honest. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, so that should all slide together and just go straight up in the air. Right, let's get the brackets up and then we can see about getting these things fitted. So as you can see, I've got these eaves overhangs all the way around uh, the house. Apart from here. So what I'm thinking of doing is mounting a T there, K here, and running the pole just up the side there, and going straight up there. Because it's the only gap I've got. I thought about mounting on that chimney, but I don't think that chimney is that secure. I'm not really sure. Um, I could do a lower mount, I suppose, but I really fancy it in the wall. Then I can have it on poles and lift it up to uh, as high as I like, really. I haven't got to go that high because the roof isn't that high either. So my concern here is I've got to get the pole to run up but then I've got a little bit of roof just above I've got to clear. So we've got to go as far over this side as we can to clear the slates but I'm concerned about drilling near the edge here and breaking the brick. Um, this is the only option I've got so I'm going to have to drill the hole as close to this side as I can and hope that we don't split the brick. Right well as you know I was using these M8 by 80 raw bolts. You push them in and they pull a thing back but they weren't any good. That one there when I pulled it cracked my brick so I've got to refill that up with concrete. So not having used these before I've now got this on here and this is solid and I've changed the fixings that I've used to ones that I used last time when I put up my Antron 99 and they were up there for years. I only use these because these were recommended to me but I wouldn't use those, I'll show you what you should use. And that's what I recommend you get, M80 by 80 raw bolts but they're the ones with the thread and a raw plug. These are called um, Electro Smart M8 by 80 mil steel bolts with wall plugs and washers and that's what I got and they cost me uh, I think it was about £5.50 and I think I've got about 10 of them I've got miles more than what I need but I've got some spares so I can't recommend enough if you're going to put these brackets up use that the um, T bracket at the top I'm taking down and I'm changing over to these because it's just too wobbly with the other ones okay so I've rooted the coax through the air vent now comes round onto the eaves runs all the way along here. This is only just temporarily hooked up at the moment because I want to see how much coax I've got and whether I've got enough to go up higher. And I've got that bit left on the bottom. So I fitted three brackets on. There's a T there, K there, and another K there. I had to put this one on upside down because my ones have got the brackets if you've got it properly on that side and then these ones have got them on the other side so I've got to angle iron that off as well but they're on we've got the poles, I've just got to bolt this on then we can lift the thing up and get it up above the eaves so I've got enough here to lift this up and I've got another pole to go on so it should clear so the cable comes in through the air vent here comes along, goes up through the floor there then it comes up through that gap in the floor there between the pipes that's a devil of a job to get your hand in to get, to get it because I had to put my hand through here as you can see you can't really reach it then it comes through and then it comes to my radio that I have sitting here but everything's in bits at the moment and there's my bench I've got to put back but we've rooted the cable that's the main thing the only thing I've got left to do now is fit the coax connector onto the end and make a patch lead as well okay so the next thing to do is go around the base and fit in 
all of these legs. There's quite a few of them, but they feel quite sturdy. So that's why I'm doing it on a wheelie bin, because in a minute I'm going to have to try and hang it off the edge so that I can do these without damaging the, uh, the radials. Right, let me get this finished and I'll be back with you. The other thing that I have done is I've put these bolts in first. goes in nut, then you have the spring-loaded washer, then you have the normal washer actually against this. And the brackets go, that's the right angle, your actual pole comes up this side. Okay, each of the radials has one of these black plastic caps that slips over the end, stop the water getting in. And they are quite a tight fit. There we go. Nope, I think we're going to have to put a bit of washing up liquid on there. Right, that's one put on using washing up liquid, but they're not that easy to do, so make sure you've got some to hand when you go to do it, bouncing around all over the place there. Right, let's get on with the others. Right, so all I'm doing is putting a little smear of washing up liquid around here like so. Just to make it a bit slippery. Then, using the cap, putting it on. Like so. As easy as that. If you didn't have washing up liquid, that wouldn't go on that well. Right, let's do it. Right, the next problem is when your pole comes up to here, it's got to bolt on this top bracket, so you can't have anything sticking above too much this top bracket. If you look at my poles, they're what's called swage, where they go inside each other, so I've got to cut this pole off flush, and that will be the top pole. So the bracket will fit around this part, because obviously this is thinner, but then it won't bang into the top of the, uh, the aerial. So I'm going to get the angle grinder, quickly cut. Right, the bottom two sections have these sleeves that go over, but there's no pre-drilled holes, you have to burst through the metal. So that's the first section and the second section. Start them off with a screwdriver, then go to an electric one to finish them off, because you can't get the screwdriver to get them in far enough to break them. When you get up to the next section, this one here, this has actually got the holes already in it, so that should be easier to do. Well, it's getting almost dark, you can't see that. There she is, she's up in its full glory. Sticking right up the top there. It's all done. I've got another pole uh, to go on the bottom, but I've just put three five foot poles up at the moment, and then I'm gonna stick the other pole on once people get used to it being up there for a while. But I'll see what reaction I'll get, if any.